good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a ton of WWE action figure news. Just stuff all over the place. I got a lot of stuff to get through. We got images. We got new released info. We have brand new waves coming soon. We have a lot of stuff to cover here today, and I am very excited to get into it with all of you guys and break it all down. I mean, I feel like it's just hitting, 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 and it's probably going to be like this all the way through Christmas. So, excellent time to be a collector, guys. So, if you want to go grab anything, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS, and stay on the lookout for some epic figures. But first off, if you guys would like a shout out in my future videos, go ahead and leave me a comment and like this video. Give me a comment, something cool, something nice, something epic, and uh, you will be possibly shouted out in the next video. So be sure to comment down below and stay tuned for all the news. So before we get in the news, guys, I do want to give a shout out to my boy on Stable 1047, Christian. He is uh, responsible for some of this news, and I would not know it without his help. So I do appreciate him, and I did want to give a shout out to him. So definitely go check him out. Link in the description below for my man, Christian. Christian. But let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. So yesterday I was on the old the old Instagram realm, and some new images came out. So it's it's crazy. But Elite Series 80 has finally hit ringside. We got images, and they shipped. So it was like you know we we kind of knew what they looked like. We knew what they looked like, but we didn't get like nice, good, clear images. But now we do, and we're gonna break them down here, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we do have Bailey, and this figure looks phenomenal. If you already pre-ordered Elite Series 80, they're already shipping. Like this set should be at my door very soon in the next few days and we'll get the reviews up for Elite Series 80. But this figure looks phenomenal. I really like this Bailey. I like the head sculpt. I like the attire. They went with the AEW attire. That's what I'm calling it because every time she had on the Women's Championship, you guys can see in the center of her chest it says AE and then when she had the belt on it would say AEW and then her attire was in gold, silver, and black and it looked just like the AEW logo. So that's what I always call this gear. It is the AEW gear and Bailey looks great. I am very happy with this figure. I cannot wait to chunk my network spotlight across the universe because I'm sick of using that John Brown figure. I've been using that figure for like three and a half years, possibly four years now. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. So I'm going to get rid of that figure and I am going to be using this Elite 80 Bailey for the rest of time because it's way better. It's got the double jointed knees. It's not going to fall over at the just a simple breath of, of air and I'm happy for the Bailey figure. Next up guys is going to be Elite 80 Ricochet and this figure looks great as well. I don't think we ever saw hardcore images of it and I'm sure it's because you know we didn't ever get a new head sculpt. This is the same exact head sculpt that we got with our last Ricochet and our Ricochet before that and our Ricochet before that. So four straight Elite Ricochets, all with the exact same head sculpt. That is crazy. That is bonkers. We had Elite 69 Ricochet. We had the Top Talents Ricochet. We had the Network Spotlight Ricochet. And now we have the Elite 80 Ricochet, all of them featuring the exact same head sculpt, torso, arms, and the only thing that's different is the attire. He does come with knee pads. Now, that is something that we are buzzing about over here. He has the Nightwing gear on. He's got the knee pads. I will say the blue looks a little bit dark for me. You know, it's not exactly Nightwing blue, but I'll let it pass. One thing I'll also notice is, I don't know if you guys are looking, look at his right white wrist tape over there. Are you guys noticing what I'm noticing? There is tattoos over the wrist tape, and it has been shipped out like that. So I don't know how that happens. But the tattoos went over the wrist tape. How bonkers is that? Is that not crazy? Uh, very simple to fix. It's not that hard to fix whatsoever. You can easily just hit it with some white paint. You could easily switch the right arm with another, you know, Elite Ricochet if you wanted to do that, if you're not much of a painter. But that is still, I mean, that's still, I mean, come on, bro. We, we gotta get that fixed. We gotta get that fixed. I don't know how that happens. I'm not sure how that happens, but, you know, they, uh, and we still got the images and we got everything taken care of with it, but that is crazy that it got shipped out with the tattoo on the right wrist tape. That is insanity. But moving forward, we got more images of Elite KO. I'm hyped for this figure. You guys already know my concerns with the figure. It does look like they fixed the live tattoo on his forearm. So I'm not sure if people are listening from Mattel. If you guys are listening, I really, really appreciate it. But they do have the live tattoo fixed. You guys remember at the old image, if I have both images, I will bring them up so you guys can see. But they definitely fixed the live tattoo or the evil tattoo on his left forearm because it was much larger than this. So I do appreciate them fixing that. That is really, really Really sick. The tattoos look great. I like the attire. I like the red laces on the boots. These are the same shorts he's been wearing forever. These are the actually the exact shorts he wore on the Elite. I think it was the WrestleMania figure, and he might have even worn... I don't think he wore these on the Elite 43 figure, but it may have been the Elite 46 figure that he wore these on. But the beard has to be repainted. You guys know my repaint of my KO basic head sculpt that I put on my updated Elite 66 with all the tattoos. I'm going to have to do that again with this head sculpt, or I'll just switch it out with that other one to make it look better. The only thing that I'm afraid of is that it is so... Because it is customized, it may end up, you know, hurting the customization and the, you know, the sealant on it because I will have to heat it up to pop the head off and then switch it 
it over, but if that is the case, I can easily just repaint this just like I repainted that one. Uh, very annoying to do, but you know, it, it's just something you have to do. It makes the figure look fantastic, so that is something, and he will look like this on MDT Live for sure. Like the next episode, I'm pretty sure he will have all of his updated tattoos. So I guess between between the time he performed at Hell's Gate and the MDT Live attire, he just got a full sleeve and all these tattoos on his body, so that's kind of crazy, but that's funny. Next up, guys, we do have, what else do we have here? We have Kyle O'Reilly. We have not only the Chase variant version, but we also have the regular version, and for me, I don't know if you guys are noticing this, but the torso looks new to me. Why does the torso look new to me? I think it's the lighting or the chest, like the way the pecs are shaped, but the way these pecs are shaped makes it look like a new torso. Is it because it's the pecs with the tattoo on there that makes it look like a new torso? I'm not sure, but I did a side-by-side -side with the Elite 73 Daniel Bryan, and it looks, it's something about the chest or like the pecs, like the outside of the pecs. They look different to me. It could just be the lighting, you know, it may not be different at all, but I feel like you can kind of tell if you look in the center and like right underneath the pecs, it seems like the lines are a little bit straighter or something and it makes the figure look broader and more better. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below, but it definitely looks like a tweaked torso of the Daniel Bryan torso, which I do enjoy. I think that looks great if that is a new torso. I enjoy that. And if you guys wanted to switch out the torso and the lower legs and the, you know, the thighs of this figure and the arms and you wanted to make your own Adam Cole in the War Games attire, like a simple fix-up, I think you could do so because on the back of this Kyle O'Reilly figure, there aren't any like O'Reilly logos or anything that I'm seeing. So that would mean that you could easily just switch out the torso, you could switch out the arms and the, the legs and the head sculpt, and you could make an Adam Cole. I may even make a whole video on that or do that on surgery or something with it and get a, another Kyle O'Reilly because I think that'd be really cool to do. So I may end up doing that. We'll have to see about that, see how that goes, but that's pretty cool if you guys want to make your own Adam Cole. Next up, we do have Eric and Ivar. These figures are figures of the year contenders. I mean, the details on these things are insane, dude. These head sculpts are beautiful. They look great. Uh, obviously, the lower legs of Eric are going to have to be tweaked because they gave him the Johnny Gargano kick pads. But, you know, the, this figure still looks absolutely fantastic. I love the way it looks. I like all the tattoos we got going on. These look insane, dude. Like, the head sculpts are some of the best ever, especially, I, I would say especially Eric, but Ivar's killing it too. The face paint and the beards and the way they look. I can't wait to see, you know, Balor Figs UK and other people do feds with these because they're going to be insane off the charts, man. I cannot wait to see that. So that is going to be really, really cool. Eric and Ivar look fantastic. We also have Rocky Johnson in his purple robe. This figure looks great. I love the tattoos on the chest. I like the way it looks. I like the head sculpt. This is it. He just looks like he's going to beat your ass. So I, I like that a lot. Rocky Johnson looking good with the white boots. This is the collector's edition for Elite Series 80, and that's a, that's a great looking figure right there. Next up, guys, we do have a mock image of Walter. That is not all we have. We also have some more mock images here. We have a mock image of Walter. I really like this packaging. You can see it says NXT TakeOver New York. You got the 2019 logo. You have Walter with his hands behind his back. Hoping that doesn't make the shoulders too loose when he comes out of the packaging. If you're a mock collector, this is freaking gorgeous. I love the fire. I like the Walter. I like the, the way it's packaged looks great. This is really sick. I love how they give us like the square rectangular packaging with these exclusives. So that looks really good. I think Walter's looking fantastic. I think he's still up for pre-order on Ringside if you guys want to pick him up. Use code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles for your 10% off if you want to go grab Walter. If you're a mock collector especially, it looks great. He's going to come with his knife edge chop hands and everything like that. So that is beautiful. Next up, guys, are some AEW figures. We have some great AEW figures coming up. First off, guys, we do have AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 2 Phoenix, and he looks fantastic. I love this head sculpt. I don't think these are up for pre-order anymore. I think if you missed out on the first pre-order, they are on back order now. So if you are late to the party, you may want to go get that in because these figures look great, dude. Phoenix looks insane. I like all the sculpts going on. The head sculpts look great. The arms look great. I cannot wait to get him in here. I think he's going to be really fun to pose around. His offense is insane. Pentagon's offense is insane. And speaking of Pentagon, we also have an image of Pentagon, which I will include in the video as well. Pentagon looks great. I love the way he looks as well. The black and white is sick. I love the kick pads on this guy. My boy Elite Player was pointing out how his kick pads look like they have a cut in the middle, and it's kind of like they have the Johnny Gargano mold going on, and I'm not sure if that's because of, you know, the, the articulation, the way the legs are molded, but if they're not like the Kenny Omega kick pads, I'm not sure why that would be. Like, I don't know why you would run into that issue. Why wouldn't you just give him the same lower legs? Unless every mold is specific and has its own unique mold, that would be the reason why. Everything else with this looks so sick. I'm not sure why they would do that, but he does have all of his gloved hands. He has all of his tattoos. The torso is so good. Uh, the waist wrap is good. I mean, these two figures are going to be dominant, dude. The, the Phoenix and the Pentagon look so damn good. I cannot wait for these. We also have images of Adam Hangman 
page. He looks great as well. I know a lot of people are upset about the head sculpt, but the skin tone looks really good. I like the way everything looks on this guy. Uh, his feet look a little bit big as well, but I think once we get it in here, it will look a lot better. And I, I'm not having a big deal with the head sculpt. I don't think the head sculpt is too bad. I also think that it could be repainted slightly, like maybe the beard or maybe the eyes could be repainted a little bit and maybe look even better than that. So that's a pretty cool thing as well. I like the, the, the way the tights look kind of remind me of like a Drew McIntyre or something. That's just the vibe I'm getting, but I guess it's because they're both pretty big guys, so that's probably why I'm getting that vibe from Adam Hangman Page, but I'm just happy to get him in here. He also comes with the shooter hand, so once we get our Kenny Omega, I know our Kenny Omega is probably going to come with the shooter hand anyways, but if you've repainted your Kenny Omega, you didn't repaint the hand, you can put this hand in there, or you can have other skin tone guys have that, that pointer finger right there, so that's pretty cool. We also have a look at two more figures in the set, and I think the only figure we don't have images of just yet is going to be John Moxley, but uh, we also have MJF. He is the not only the regular version, but the chase version, so we have the orange attire and we have the pink attire. You guys know the pink attire is super sick. He does come with his ring, and I like the way this looks. I like the mic. I like the scarf. The scarf is a little bit wide, you know? Not not too happy about the wideness, but I think it's because I think it's because it is made of cloth, and you know, it's usually folded up and stuff, so that's probably the reason why, but I still like the MJF. I like it. It looks really clean. I like the, the thigh color. I like everything going on with it. It looks just like MJF. Can't wait to get him in here, do some reviews for you guys, and I think Series 2 as a whole is probably going to be collectively way better than Series 1, especially since they fixed the skin tones. These skin tones look way better. Can't wait to see them in person, what they look like up next to the other figures. And I did hear on the grapevine that Jeremy is going to be re-releasing Series 1 in a, you know, a brand new skin tone to fix those molds for everybody. So that will be really sick, and I can't wait to see that happen. But the last figure in the AEW figures that we have to see, guys, is going to be Dustin Rhodes. And Dustin looks great. You know, he has his face paint. He's got his full gear on. His AEW look looks good. I like the black and red. All his tattoo details are there. I, I like it. You know, I'm not a huge Dustin Rhodes fan, but I respect him to death. I, I've always liked his work as Gold Dust, as Dustin Rhodes. And again, I'm not a massive fan, but I still think the figure looks great and I, I respect his work a lot. So this figure is going to be great to add to the collection. But not only do we have all these images, guys, but I also have a ton of like figure news coming up with you guys. And I'm not going to sit here on it forever because we do. I mean, we've been sitting here for a minute anyways, and I do definitely need to get through all of this news to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into it real quick. I did get all of this information from my boy, Unstable Christian Tim. 47, so definitely go check him out. But first off, guys, we do have Basic Series 116 revealed, and it does seem that it's going to be Seth Rollins, Sheamus, Kevin Owens, Dakota Kai, and Roderick Strong. Now, Seth Rollins, hopefully, to God, it's going to be a new head sculpt. Same thing for Sheamus. Kevin Owens, I'm guessing, will probably be the same head sculpt we've gotten with his Elite 80 figure, probably the same head sculpt we got on his Basic 111, but, you know, it is a Kevin Owens, and hopefully, maybe it'll be a repaint. Maybe they'll repaint it and get it accurate to the hair color and the, you know, the beard color that we want to see with the, with the gray in there instead of giving us the ginger look that he's had in his last two head sculpts. So maybe that will be a fix-up of that Kevin Owens. We also have Dakota Kai, which we've already seen. And then the last one is Roderick Strong, who is the chase, which will probably be, I would guess, probably one of those is going to be in the in the elite attire that matches the chase variant of Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, if I had to guess. We also have Basic Series 117, which is going to feature Roman Reigns, Undertaker, Tucker, Otis, and Tony Storm. We, of course, already saw what Tony Storm looked like. I am excited to see. I don't think we saw the chase variant version, maybe. Maybe the red version was the Chase variant, but we didn't see both versions of the figure. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure we only saw the one version of Tony Storm. Tucker and Otis really don't care much for their figures. I am interested to see how they make a basic of Otis because he's so wide. I know the Elite looked great. It was a great figure, but I am interested to see how the basic figure comes out. We also have Taker and Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns will probably be one of his best that he had before he went away, and I'm sure it'll probably be the lime green vest or something like that. I highly doubt it's an updated, updated Roman, but maybe it'll be a pissed off, nice looking Roman head sculpt, so that'd be pretty cool. Basic Series 118 is going to feature Jeff Hardy, Finn Balor, Eric Ivar, and Austin Theory. So first time in the line, Austin Theory. Really cool. I think he'll be easy to make into an Elite, especially with all the parts we have. So if you guys are wanting to make an Austin Theory Elite, probably just put his put, you know, his head sculpt on a Finn Balor body or a Seth Rollins body or or something of that nature, and we could probably make that happen really, really easily. So I don't think, I'm, I'm not too stressed about making Austin Theory into an Elite. I'm not even a big Austin Theory fan, so I don't know. We may do it on surgery or something, but Eric and Ivar, I know those head sculpts will be great, so I'm sure their basics will be really highly detailed just like their Elites are. Jeff Hardy, hopefully it's a really good face paint or new head sculpt. You guys know that they always give Jeff Hardy the same head sculpt over and over, so maybe this Jeff Hardy will have a really nice painted head sculpt and a really cool one, even if 
it's not painted, hopefully it's a really good detailed Jeff Hardy figure and it'll look really good. And then we have Finn Balor, and you guys know I'm a huge Finn Balor guy. I'm sure it won't be a demon attire Finn Balor. I'm sure it'll be an updated NXT one. And that figure's head sculpt will probably match his Elite 82 figure that we're getting very soon. So Finn Balor will probably be updated from NXT with a cool head sculpt and his tattoos on it and everything. Probably the X attire. And Jeff Hardy will probably be a new face paint. Next up, guys, we also have the Showdown 2-packs. The Championship Showdown 2-packs right here. Now, we have all three series. We have Series 1, 2, and 3. Now, I'm not sure, and I know Christian talked about this a little bit, but we're not sure if this is going to be replacing Battle Packs or if this is going to be just a new series that we're getting. Maybe it's going to, like it says, Championship Showdown 2-pack. So, what if this is a way to get Championship belts into the wild? You know that a lot of figure belts are really hard to track down. This would be a really excellent idea idea if you were to give us two figures and then give us a championship that we have not seen in a long time and I'm talking about a shiny version not a not a basic version they really need to give us the nice shiny version that we get with elite figures that would really cut down on how hard these championship titles are to, to, to find in the wild so I think that you know Roman Reigns and Finn Balor give us the universal championship with that Undertaker versus Jeff Hardy give us the classic WWE undisputed championship with that Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss give us one of the women's championships with that John Cena and Randy Orton give us the spinner title. Triple H and The Rock, give, you us, give us the WWF title. Bobby Lashley and Booker T, give us the US title. You see what I'm saying? So, down the line, you could give us these title these title belts, and they could be easily findable in the wild, and I think that is a genius idea. If that's what this the idea is behind this, that is genius. Give us two basics and the belt, that is genius. I think that would be a really cool idea, and hopefully that is what these are, but here are all the figures there. Down at the bottom, it does say Giant versus Ric Flair, and I'm not sure if that is Andre the Giant or if it's Giant like Big Show Giant, so We'll have to see about that, but this has a lot of interesting things about it. I think this could be a really, really cool idea if they do it correctly, but there is the Championship Showdown 2-packs. We also have a look at Elite Series 83. Now, we've already confirmed this on the channel. We looked at it a little bit back, but you do see it's King Corbin, Dustin Rhodes, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, King Trash Corbin, Dusty Rhodes, Sasha Banks, Drew McIntyre, Edge, and Velveteen Dream slash The Chase. So, Velveteen Dream will be the Chase figure in Elite Series 83. Trash Corbin's in there. We already saw what he looked like. Sasha Banks is probably going to be that ring side exclusive figure that we got canceled forever ago. Drew McIntyre will probably be his Royal Rumble or updated gear with like the, the updated knives on the sides instead of the crosses that we've gotten with all of his figures before. And then Edge hopefully will be either the Backlash attire with the greatest wrestling match ever or his WrestleMania figure because we know we're getting his Royal Rumble return figure in the Ultimate Edition. So I am looking forward to this Edge and seeing what we get. It could even be a flashback Edge. We'll have to see, but that is Elite 83. Elite 84 is going to be Jeff Hardy, Roman Reigns, Rhea Ripley, Murphy, Sheamus, and Angel Garza, as well as the Collector's Edition Zelina Vega that will be Walmart exclusives, I'm pretty sure. But Jeff Hardy should look good. Roman Reigns will be updated. Rhea Ripley we've known about forever now. Murphy actually replaces the Kushida figure. So I'm not sure if Kushida got canceled or if they're just going to move him down in a different set. But Kushida is no longer in Elite 84, so they did replace him with Murphy. And then we have Sheamus and Angel Garza, which we've already seen Angel Garza. Don't know what Sheamus looks like, but I assure you it'll probably be a pretty solid figure. I don't think we've had a Sheamus Elite since Elite 58. And the Elite 58 Sheamus was great, so uh, I'm excited to get a new one. Jeff Hardy hopefully looks looks good. Hopefully it's going to be, you know, I, I don't care what if, if it's flashback, updated, don't care. Going to put the Jeff Hardy up on the Jeff Hardy football shelf and it'll look really, really good. Now, coming into the last few things here, I know we've been here a while, but it, I guess this kind of turned into like a podcast episode because this is going to be a really long video, but I hope you guys stuck it out to the end. If you stuck it out to this point, comment down below my damn figure trash. But anyways, guys, up next, if you guys go to Targets, you're, you're, you could end up finding Legend Series 8. Now, right here, we do have a little end of aisle display that is been making the rounds. I went to my Target yesterday. You guys will see in my vlog that I will be posting in the next couple of days possibly. But in my vlog, we do go to Target and we actually go to Target twice. And on our second Target trip, I will let you guys know if we found the Legends figures in there. But uh, we were looking for this right here. We were looking for the little end aisle display and you guys can see it has Ultimate Warrior, Eddie Guerrero, Jake the Snake, and Paul Orndorff. I'm really trying to track this series down. If I find this series at Target, I will definitely be purchasing all of those hoes. Eddie Guerrero looks great. I can't wait to grab it. I think it's a really strong set, man. The Eddie Guerrero is so nice and, I mean, good guy, man. That figure looks bomb. I want to do, like, a pink attire Eddie Guerrero so hopefully I can track down a few of them to make some different fix-ups and customs with Eddie Guerrero because I no longer have an Eddie Guerrero in my collection, but let's move on to some Twitter news here 
from WrestleFig News on Twitter, guys. This is some interesting news that I'm sure that a lot of you are going to want to know. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right here, we have WWE Survivor Series Elites. These will be at Target on the pay-per-view pegs like the Rumble and SummerSlam figures were. They are expected to release soon with the next Target reset. These will also be available on ringside in the near future. Info, courtesy of Action Figure Attack. Now, we already know that the Survivor Series Elites are already at ringside collectibles. Using promo code MDTOYS, you can grab these, but they should be showing up at Target right now. And I think my Target is doing a reset because when I went the other day, they had a bunch of new stuff. So I think that the reset is imminent if it has not been done already. So that will be really cool to see for, you know, everything like that. Especially on the Marvel Legends, bro. My Marvel Legends... Uh, sh uh, shelves as far as at Target. Good God in heaven. There was Marvel Legends everywhere. Just Marvel Legends flowing out of the face. That is something that is definitely too wor you know noteworthy. And the Survivor Series Elites, I thought they were going to be Walmart exclusive. Apparently, they're going to be Target exclusive. So, very interesting history for the Survivor Series Elite packages there. Uh, next up, guys, we do have a tweet that says WWE Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Series. These will be released quarterly starting fall 2021. One figure will release each quarter. These will be on top of the regular Ultimate line that will be on ringside Amazon and Target so four extra figures a year so this is huge you guys know that the first figure in this was Jeff Hardy we talked about it the other day really big news can't wait for this I can't wait to see who else comes out in this series so four extra ultimate edition figures coming every single year voted on by the fans so this is excellent news I cannot wait to get these in here um, I think that they're trying to pump out Ultimate Edition figures more often because they know that they have the, all the more articulation, they have more details, they have all those things, and I think they're probably trying to compete with the AEW Unrivaled Collection a little bit, um, you know, trying to get more double-jointed arms, trying to get more articulation for their WWE figures out on the shelf. So that makes a lot of sense. I think that's excellent. I can't wait to pick up more guys. I'm sure we'll get Undertaker, Stone Cold, Jeff Hardy, I mean, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins. I'm sure they're going to be pumping them out, so I can't wait to see who all comes out what attires they wear what accessories they have and i think the future of wwe figures man it looks exciting i can't wait to see but it also says these will be amazon exclusive in the u.s not sure which international resellers uh, or retailers will be carrying them at this exact moment so international guys be on the lookout um, I, I thought Amazon uh, shipped to the to international, so I guess it doesn't, so I, I think that's unfortunate. I think Amazon makes plenty of money to expand to the international market, but, you know, uh, I don't make the football rules, I just break them. And I think this is the last thing that we have to cover here today. I know it was a very long video, but I appreciate you guys sticking around. Again, if you, if you stayed this far into the video, guys, comment down below, my damn figure trash. But anyways, it says WWE Elite 79 Undertaker. He will be in cases of Elite 79 at Walmart only, as well as be more plentiful on a display in November. This will be more than likely how the Collector's Edition Rock figure was released. If you guys remember that, I only saw this figure out of town, but this figure was everywhere. The Elite 69 Rock figure was in surplus everywhere, and if you actually go on Amazon right now, I think the Elite 69 Rock Collector's Edition is very cheap. It's like 15 bucks. so maybe that'll happen with the Elite 79 Taker. I love the Elite 79 Taker. I think it's one of the best Undertaker Elites to date. It could be. It's definitely a top three. So hopefully that will happen. Maybe if you just wait it out a little bit, don't pay the crazy, crazy aftermarket prices of the Elite 79 Undertaker. Just sit on it. Just wait on it. Um, I actually did pay my boy Balor Fix for, you know, retail and shipping, so I appreciate him hooking me up with that figure, but I wanted to get a review of it up for you guys so you guys could check that figure out and see if you guys wanted it. That is why I paid a little bit more for that figure, but Balor Fix gave me a great deal on it, and the only reason that it was more expensive than retail is because of the shipping internationally, so that is the only reason behind that, but I did want to get that review up for you guys, so don't pay that market price. You know, don't pay crazy prices. Just wait, unless you just really, really insanely want it. But if you wait on it, I think you're going to be able to get a better deal on it. And I think that figure will probably be available everywhere very soon. So hopefully that will be the case. Hopefully it won't spike up to 300 and stay there forever. But I think that is all the news, all the images, all the craziness that I had to get through here today, guys. Just tons of stuff. I mean, my God, I am out of breath now. I think I'm going to go do some cardio. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. It was a ton of stuff. Again, I, I know it was a ton of stuff. I appreciate you guys checking it out all the way to the end if you did. Again, do not forget to comment down below and leave me a like for a future shout out in possibly tomorrow's video. Shout out to Outlast Wrestling for his comment on our video yesterday. Man, I really want to see AJ hold the Universal Championship and I think that would be cool. I think that would be a really cool thing. So shout out to Outlast Wrestling. Thank you guys so very much for commenting on the videos. I appreciate all the comments reading through those. But anyways guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.